Hello Saber fans, Tony here from Ronin Sabers, and today is going to be another tutorial video. Today we're going to be teaching you how to do the Obiani spin. This is a CF, no, not CFX, this is a Profi installed Ultra Saber, and this is my personal Saber. But today we're going to teach you the basics. This is the first fla flourish or flurry that you'll ever learn in Saber combat. And you, there's tons of variations of it, but I'm going to teach you how I was taught, and hopefully you can carry it on and teach others as well. So let's get into it. So the first thing at first is you're gonna to want to do the basic spin. Now the basic spin, I'm probably gonna do another tutorial on just how to do the basic spin, but you want to have your grip with the two, your index finger and your thumb. Two fingers that you can roll off, and the spin, basic spin itself is just your wrist and those two fingers, that's, that's it. I don't know how well you can see it, but just like that. Now that's the first thing, that's just part of the OBN. Once you get that down, you can move on to this. So you're gonna want to, what I call sweeping the feet. So you sweep the feet and you come up. So it's just one sweep motion and you stop here, that's step one. So step one, you sweep the feet. Then from there, you do the spin. So you do this spin, and then you wanna grip it. So sweep the feet, and spin. Now that's the first movement, bam. And you're already halfway there. So then from there, from the spin, you wanna grip it, so spin, grip, and you just wanna redirect it around your body. That's that's it, and then you're back to the beginning, going to the top. So sweep the feet, come up, spin, grab it, and then redirect it over your shoulder. And the more you get, the faster at it, it gets, Pretty insane, not gonna lie. There's tons of variations of that, as well as um, you come up and spin to the other side, only to get back to the Obiani. There's one where you can spin up and come back around. Um, I don't know the other variation of it. My friend Kevin does it where it goes over their shoulder and goes back down, which I guess is a variant of what I do here. But we well, ending with two as well is crazy. Once you learn how to do it with your right hand or your dominant hand, you can also learn to do it with your left. And so it's the same process. And then once you get good at it, you can do dual OBN. So we get, well, right before we get into both OBNEs, we want to teach you the backwards OBNE. So instead of having to sweep the feet and twirl and, you know, OBNE normal wise, there's the other way. So you're going to want to go down on the feet, go into your shoulder and do a backwards rotation. And that's basically the backwards OBNE. So your backwards rotation underneath the armpit and you want to flick out. harder to gain that momentum because you flick out in the last minute instead of going into it, flicking, and then go over your shirt, shirt uh, armpit. So instead, you go in opposite, and you can do it. As well as left-handed, of course, so other way. Okay. Flick out, flick out, and flick out. You want to kind of bend your knees because it helps the flick out process. At least helps me. And so this helps a lot during sparring. If you want to throw off your enemy with the flourish, you want to hit their blade up in a way, bam. So, so now we're going to get into do dual obiani, which, so you want to think each part is the opposite of the other. So when one blade's in front of you, the other blade's behind. And it's kind of a balanced thing. So, and you want to pivot your body a lot. Not too much, but just enough that you can get over the shoulder. If you're really good at it, you can get really fast. And the complicated thing, doing backwards obiani at the same time, is hard because you flick out and then you have to, it's a different type of energy. It's different motion. So you have to flick it out, twist, flick it out, twist. It's a very different beast, but you can get this really good later on. So yeah, I'll make a whole other video on about how to do um, dual spins and that type of stuff, where it's like jarkai movements. We can do this, as well as, you know, spins and such.
you guys so much for watching. I hope that was very informative and entertaining. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please like, comment, share, share any, you know, with family, friends, any Star Wars fans. I'll greatly appreciate it. Of course, smash that subscribe button for more content. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.